everyone, I hope you're all well and I hope you had a lovely Christmas and New Year. Ours was definitely different, it was much quieter than we are used to but also really nice just being able to spend time as a family. Then we had the arrival of our in-laws, so they have arrived safely in Australia, they're here with us now which is so exciting. However, I wanted to bring you up to speed with what we have been up to in our first week. We're actually now at a week and a half. Um, they are here for a month, so we have lots to be doing. But in the first week, we have actually done more than we first initially planned. And yeah, I want to show you all what we've been doing. So we took a train into the city and we changed there to Bondi Junction to obviously spend the day at Bondi Beach which we have never actually visited before and it was lovely. We stopped at a little cafe first and got a nice takeaway lunch and you can actually sit on a grassy area just basically above the beach um, and you can just sit there and watch the world go by. It's so nice to see so many different people just out sitting and yeah just enjoying the view. We then took a walk up towards the beginning of the Bondi to Coogee Walk. Now obviously you do get some amazing views here and if you do watch Bondi Rescue like myself then you will definitely recognise some of this. However, although we weren't going to actually begin the walk, we did head up here to look at the very famous Bondi Icebergs. Um, this is a swimming club and obviously you can see here the outdoor pool which was very busy. We did use the drone for this but as you can see it was quite a windy day so we didn't want to take it too far. However I'm so pleased with how this has turned out and I definitely recommend a visit to see the icebergs. And here you can see the beginning of the walk from Bondi to Coogee. This does take about two hours and although it is absolutely beautiful, we decided not to do it on this day and we just headed back into the little shopping area and we had a quick look around the shop before heading back into the city. Now obviously I was very keen to show my in-laws just how amazing the parks are. This one is very local to us and it has this amazing splash pad which the kids will happily spend all morning at. Um, it also has this really cute little pump track and a bike track attached to the park itself. So it means you can also spend some extra time there. My little boy loves going on his scooter and Isla loves it. it's like a little village and obviously you can fill up your <laughs> little bikes or scooters with the fuel station. And yeah, it's just great to burn some energy. So we actually spent a full morning here and my in-laws loved it. And we of course spent the full day in the city. How did we know? We jumped on the train and spent the day here, starting off at Circular Quay. We walked around, we actually grabbed some lunch on the way and we did plan on sitting in the Botanic Gardens. However, we walked around, obviously seen the Opera House and we just sat at the waterfront and had some lunch, which was so nice. We also went into the rocks, which was very busy with it being this time of year. There are still a lot of tourists here in Sydney. And then we also, of course, walked over the Sydney Harbour Bridge, um, which we've never actually done. So it was also nice for us to experience that. I also took this amazing picture, which, by the way, has no filter at all. It just looks amazing. This was obviously from walking over the bridge. And yeah, it was just so nice. We obviously showed them the ferries that head over to Taronga Zoo if you want to take a day trip there. And here is us just sitting outside Squires Landing, testing out Ewan's drone. Um, and then this is actually the bridge at night. How nice is that? We had such a fun day before heading home. Now, as you can see, this day was actually quite grey and dull. There was rain forecast, so I decided to head to our local RSL club, which was first set up for war veterans, basically for them to have a place to meet. And over the years, it has developed into this amazing place that you can go and visit. You can have lunch or dinner. They also do shows here. They have a gym attached. There's kids events that go on, they have a lounge, but we obviously go for this outdoor play area for the kids, which is amazing and it means that you can have a nice cup of coffee or tea in peace and obviously have a little cake as well. 
they have this outdoor sitting area which is great obviously you can see my father-in-law enjoying whichever sport that is on tv and they also have this little games area for the kids which is so good you don't actually have to put any tokens in because they're quite happy just playing the way they are and yeah you can see this was the morning so it was pretty quiet usually it is very busy this is the adults only area, it's a little cocktail bar called Lucy's which I do highly recommend, it's lovely and yeah it was a great day my in-laws thankfully loved it. And we've also had some super exciting news, the house that we viewed in Terrigal, the one that I was really keen on, all in one level, we have been successful for. So we actually move into our new home in a matter of weeks, um, we will be in there for February which really is not long at all. Um, sad to be leaving this house because I actually feel very much at home in this house. However, we have already shown our in-laws um, Terrigal. We took them up there for the day and we actually drove past our house and we are super excited. I really cannot wait to be living there. I think the beach is just it for us and even being there for that day just made us feel like we are confident in our decision and we're super excited to start our new chapter there. So yes, we are just trying to enjoy time with our family for now and then basically when they leave it's pretty much going to be go, go, go. So yeah, we're really enjoying this time just now. I hope you have enjoyed this video. It just lets you see a few things that we've been up to. And also potentially might give you some inspiration if you do have family coming over or you're visiting Sydney, it gives you some, some things that you may want to do. I will continue to vlog their stay as much as I can. We have so much planned. This weekend we're heading to Jervis Bay and I am so excited to go there. We've obviously never been but it looks absolutely stunning so of course I'm going to have the camera and the drone and can't wait to vlog that for you all as well. So I hope you have enjoyed and as always I will see you all next time.